Hey everyone, this is Gary from German Auto Solutions and Gas Performance. In this video we're going to cover the differences between the LEM folder and TRW front upper control arms for the E82 and E90 series BMWs. The E80 and E90 series are very popular platforms for doing front suspension upgrades. Specifically, this video is going to address which brand of front control arm is going to be your best candidate for the installation of the Gas Performance Monoball Kit. Ever since TRW moved their production of their E80 and E90 series front upper control arms from Germany to Malaysia, the answer to this question is now just a little bit more complicated. In this video, you'll learn everything you need to know about selecting a front upper control arm for your E80 or E90 series. Both of these brands are original equipment suppliers for the E82 and the E90 series. Lemforder was the original equipment supplier for the E82 and E90 non-M series, and TRW was the original equipment supplier for the E90 M3 and the E82 1M. Both of these brands were originally manufactured in Germany, and when purchased through an aftermarket distributor, you were still actually getting original equipment BMW control arms. The only difference with the aftermarket control arm is that the BMW logo or BMW lettering has been ground off to avoid any issues with BMW. So you're actually getting an OEM BMW control arm that came right from the BMW production line but at a much lower cost because you weren't purchasing through your local BMW dealer. So what if anything has changed? Well TRW has moved the production of these aftermarket control arms from Germany to Malaysia. This means that now the only way you can get a German-made TRW arm is to order it directly through your BMW dealer at about two and a half times the cost. So what about the option of using the German-made Lemforder arm as a replacement for both the M and the non-M version vehicles? I think some people have the perception that the TRW arm is somehow better than the Lemforder arm just because it was original equipment on the M series vehicles. That is absolutely not the case. Both of these manufacturers have been original equipment suppliers to BMW for a very long time. In fact, Lemforder actually has a longer history with BMW than TRW. In fact, Lemforder has supplied the control arms for most of the M cars in the past. So what are the differences between the two control arms and is the Lemforder a direct replacement for the TRW and vice versa? That's what we're going to discuss in the rest of this video. First, let's talk about what is the same. Here you can see the alloy designation on the Lemforder arm. The 6082 is the alloy, T6 is the heat treatment process. Here you can see the same alloy designation on the TRW arm. So we know that both arms are forged from the same material. In this image you can see that both control arms have exactly the same overall shape. So they're forged from the same material and they have the same overall shape, but what about the length? There is only one way to accurately measure the overall length of the control arm. You need to measure from the exact center of the big end bore midway between the two side surfaces to the exact center of rotation of the ball joint at the other end. Here at German Auto Solutions we've measured a number of these TRW and LEM Forder control arms. We've measured older used, newer used, older brand new arms, and new brand new arms on a Romer CMM which has an accuracy of plus or minus two ten thousandths of an inch. We measured them with the bushings removed and with the ball joints removed, allowing us to get the exact centers that we need to make an accurate measurement on the control arms. Some people think that the TRW arm that's used on the M series vehicles is longer than the Lemforder arm used on the non-M vehicles. The thought is because the M series cars have more front camber than the non-M series cars that the TRW arm used on the M series vehicles must be longer. 
which isn't the case because our measurements show that they are exactly the same length. It is actually the wishbone, the smaller of the two arms, that is longer on the M-series cars. It is not the tension arms that are longer. The longer wishbone arms is what gives the M-series vehicles just a little bit more camber. Now let's talk about the differences between the two brands of control arms. The first thing you'll probably notice are the differences in the rubber bushings on the big end of the control arm and the difference in the surface finish on the actual control arm itself. As you can see, the TRW has a raw as forged finish. You can still see and feel the sharp edges left by the shearing die. The limb folder arms are either shot peened or media blasted after they come off the forging and shearing dies, which is why it has a matte finish. This post-processing removes the sharp edges, closes surface pores in the metal, and stress relieves the control arm, which helps reduce the chances of surface fractures in the metal. Now let's talk about the differences in the rubber bushings. The limb folder control arm uses an oil-filled rubber bushing which is softer than the solid rubber bushing used on the M3. This is the biggest difference between the TRW and limb folder control arms. But since you'll be installing the gas performance monoball kit or purchasing your control arms from us with the gas performance monoball kit already installed, this becomes a non-issue. The uh, rubber bushings are going to be removed and discarded when the uh, gas performance monoball kit is installed. Here you can see the only real difference in the shape between the two control arms. The limb folder control arm as you can see in the picture, has a wider, stronger cross-section area right next to the ball joint. This is one of the weakest points on the control arm. Is this an advantage over the TRW arm? I don't know. Uh, it certainly is not a disadvantage. Here you can see the ball joint stems removed from the two control arms. You will notice that the ball joint cup on the limb forder ball joint has grease retaining grooves. These grooves help to distribute the grease over the ball joint as the ball joint moves around within its socket. Finally, let's talk about the anti-friction and the anti-wear coating on the ball joints. Our testing with an abrasive stone has shown the limb folder coating to be just a little more wear resistant. So in summary, I think we can easily say that the limb folder arm is an equivalent if not superior replacement for the TRW arm. Thank you for watching this video and please visit our website at GermanAutoSolutions.com to see all of our German Auto Solutions and Gas Performance products.